Hey, I got a quick video for you today. If you've got a mid to late 80s Ford F-Series pickup and you're experiencing a hesitation issue or a surging type issue when the vehicle's warmed up, this here's the video for you. You're watching the Car Doctor channel. Welcome back to the Car Doctor channel. I'm Tim. I'm here at my repair shop, Donor Automotive in Anchorage, Alaska. And uh, today I've got this uh, mid to late 80s F-Series pickup. This one's an 87 F-150. Customer brought it in complaining of a hesitation or kind of a surging once the vehicle's warmed up. And this tip's going to extend uh, mid to late 80s F-Series trucks, uh, six and eight cylinders, experiencing a similar issue. Uh, you may also notice that the vehicle seems to run normally when the spout connector at the distributor ignition timing is disconnected. Seems to run halfway decent that way uh, and also runs decent cold. We're gonna be checking for a common problem with the distributor on these vehicles. I'm gonna be using my oscilloscope, but uh, you can also use a dwell meter set on the six cylinder scale to uh, check this basically the duty cycle of the ignition profile. Uh, there is a common problem, the distributors on these and uh, again, like I said before, if the vehicle runs fairly decent with the spout connector removed, then that's the first sign that this may be your issue. Show you what this is actually running like under light throttle. You can uh, tell it's already got a rough idle. You just put it in kind of limp mode by uh, disconnecting the mass airflow. Uh, it won't try to control spark and uh, it'll run a lot better. Uh, but one test for this is remove the spout connector. Also, if you're experiencing this, uh, first thing you want to do is check your base timing, make sure it's at 10 with the spout connector disconnected. But then reconnect the spout connector and check for control timing, should be higher up 20 to 30. Um, but uh, if not, you could have a slip crank dampener uh, and have an improperly set base timing or again, uh, problems with the distributor. In this case, we've replaced all the ignition system parts and done a full tune-up on this, cap and rotor, fuel filter and plugs, wires. Uh, those were all shot. Um, so this is uh, kind of the diagnostic portion after we've shotgunned a few parts on here. Okay, in order to diagnose this distributor issue, we're gonna check the profile ignition pickup waveform and duty cycle. That's that uh, dark blue wire at the ignition control module. And then we'll just ground our other test lead and look at that waveform. The duty cycle should be looking anywhere between 47 and 53%. And again, I, like I said, you can use a dwell meter to check that, you'll just want to use the six cylinder scale and you should be measuring somewhere between 28 and 32 degrees. If you're above those values, then uh, you should probably look into replacing the distributor. In this case, uh, there can be a magnetism issue in the distributor that's created over time. So just replacing the pickup is probably not going to cure your problem. You need to replace the entire distributor assembly. And uh, what we found is uh, uh, reman distributors, you better check them once you install them because it's hit and miss, but most of them are a miss. And uh, we recommend you go with the new distributor. There's plenty of those available. This is a real common problem. So also as we're monitoring that profile ignition pickup, we should see a nice crisp square wave pattern as well, no uh, spiking, no dropping out of that signal. The duty cycle should be uh, up to 53%. Right now, uh, I'm measuring over that. Uh, it's, it's going back and forth between 53, 54, but I've had a maximum of 63, depending on where your RPMs are at. So it's a little glitchy, of course, and uh, again, it's not the pattern that I think we'd wanna see 
so uh, I'm going to condemn this distributor based on uh, the test we've done. Okay, I'm going to change out this distributor. Pop the cap off and mark my rotor. Index the distributor, make it a little easier. Get my base timing back on. That will help. Okay. That's good. Okay, I got a brand new distributor. Um, you can use a reman, but don't forget, uh, a lot of these remands are going to carry the same problem with it. Uh, by the way, uh, don't just try replacing the pickup in this distributor. You'll probably end up with the same problem. It's going to be more than just the pickup. Uh, there's going to be problems with the internal of the distributor causing it. So I like to deal with brand new. If you do get a reman, uh, just be sure to uh, recheck your dwell uh, before you send it down the road. But uh, hey, this thing's the same price as a, a reman, so uh, it's a no-brainer in this case. Car Quest. Part number, if you can see that. Pull this distributor cap. We won't be needing that. get your oil pump drive and make sure that that's a tight fit and it's not going to drop out in your oil pan. That would be tragic. So I'll just line things back up and give this thing a try. 30,000 miles overdue for an oil change and the water pump is falling apart which by the way is making a noise and I don't like that potentially interfering with the knock sensor Okay, post repair, so I've dialed in the timing. 10 degrees and spout connector disconnected. Now we're at 52, whereas we were at 54, almost 55. Um, so anywhere between 47 and 53 is an acceptable duty cycle. 
Uh, if you don't have a four channel lab scope, you can use a dwell meter. And if you use the six cylinder scale, you'd want between 28 and 32 if you're using a dwell meter. Um, See what it looks like. A little bit of a load. Definitely running a lot better. Totally smooth. Um, it's not really a square wave pattern, but it's not dropping out at all. So anyway, these repairs got this thing running just purring like a kitten, so a uh, customer went ahead and uh, approved these other repairs that we uh, had recommended, and uh, it'll be nice kind of doing those, and actually pay some bills around here, so that's always good. Uh, you know, I don't know how many people this will actually help as far as the tip itself. Um, not too many of these vintage left around that aren't rusted in half, but uh, this one's cream puff but you just don't see them anymore. Uh, but anyway, uh, hopefully it's helpful in one way or another to you, and I really appreciate you watching my videos, and I'll look forward to doing another one soon, and we'll catch you next time. Take care.